Hello Internet, how are you doing today? My name is Brian, if you're new here, and today we're going to be doing the Ultimate Mac Guide for students. I want to be giving you guys some tips and tricks of how to use your MacBook like a pro for this upcoming school year. So I got inspired to do this video because I was a recent college graduate and I get asked a lot of the time how I use my MacBook, my iPad to help me out in school. Well today I'm going to give you guys some really cool tips and tricks of ways that I personally use my Mac and iPad to really help me be successful in college. This is editing Brian here, letting you guys know that this is actually going to be a two-part series. The original video was supposed to have both the Mac and the iPad together in one video, but unfortunately the iPad section turned out to be absolutely garbage looking, so this is what we're going to have to do. So yeah, just enjoy the Mac section first and wait for next week for the uh, iPad section. We're going to be dividing this video up into three separate parts. The first part is going to be about the MacBook, the second part is going to be about the iPad, and the third part is going to be all about the Mac plus the iPad and how you can use both of them together to have a really cool and awesome experience. If you like this type of content, be sure to give us a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe. And yes, let's get into the first part, though, which is all about the Mac. So as you can see, I am currently filming my Mac right here. You're going to be showing you guys how I set this computer up for school when I was in school. But we're going to be mainly doing some tips and tricks and applications that really did help me through my undergrad on my Mac. So that's what this video is going to be mostly about today. We're going to get started, of course, with the home screen view right here. My dog. What I have in my dock. Of course, we have the basics here. We have Finder and Launchpad, Settings, Messages, Photos, Calendar, Notes. We have two web browsers. I have Safari and Chrome. Good Notes. We have PowerPoint, Excel, and Word, the three horsemen of the apocalypse. Then we have Adobe Acrobat Reader, Grammarly. We want to make sure you don't sound like a dumbass in college. And then Notion. So let's get into it. But first, let's show you some really cool tips to customize your home screen with widgets. Okay, so now we're going to move on to widgets and home screen. Here, I'm going to show you guys some really good widgets that you can add to your home screen that I think is really going to help you out in college. So, or being a student in general, so we're going to edit widgets right here. And we're going to add some, we're going to add the calendar widget, that's a very important one. The reminders widget as well, the notes, notes widget right there. Notion is also a very, very good one. You can have a page right here, so we'll add a page. And yeah, so we have some pretty cool important widgets right here. That really is the widget aspect of it. Of course, you're gonna have cool aesthetic widgets and stuff like that, but we're not gonna do that today because this isn't really a customization video. So let's move on to the next thing which we're gonna talk about, which is going to be folders. Let's do folders next. I think folders are the best way, of course, to get organized with all of your assignments. And what I love to do when I was in college is I like to have a school folder where everything can go and all my documents and everything can go right here. What I love to do is I love to put folders inside of folders. Is I would just start a new folder and then we would just name this and then let's do another folder. So these are basically non-real classes, but you get the gist. So what you usually will do is you'll put all your classes, stuff, your assignments, your syllabuses, anything in these folders, and you'll have access to this all the time. I like to have a school information folder as well. It's just easier to have that there too. And as you can see, these are kind of not really organized very well, but of course you can organize them by name. They're going to be organized just like that. Now there are going to be some people that customize these folders even further by putting custom images icons to a folder. I can show you guys how to do that really quickly. As you can tell, I have the folder PNG right here. You're gonna make sure it's a PNG so it's a clear background. We are going to open this right here and then we'll go into file, copy this, open up this, get info, like this, and you're going to hit command V. And well, bam, as you can see, I have a custom folder icon right here on my computer. So I'm gonna do the same thing info, V, and it changes it. And voila, I have custom folder icons on my Mac. Is create my own custom focus mode specifically for school. So as you can see right now, I am in a focus mode right here. I am in the do not disturb focus and I have other focuses like personal, work, sleep, and driving. So we're gonna go right into focus settings and we're gonna customize this. I can hit add a focus. So what we're going to do is hit add a focus. It's going to be custom. We're going to select an icon, it's gonna be purple. There we go, this one. And we are going to call this school. 
going to hit OK. And now we're going to be able to allow certain notifications, set up a schedule, and do focus filters, which are really going to help us stay focused when we're doing schoolwork. Allow notifications, I can allow certain notifications from certain people. These are going to be in my contacts. So I can allow calls from my favorites, and I can allow some people, and I can silence some people. This will be good if you want to add friends that you want to keep in contact with, family members you want to keep in contact with. Now we're going to allow apps. This is very important. You can add the applications that you want to have notifications pop through. These are the only applications that are going to send me notifications when I'm in my school focus. And of course, I also have time sensitive notifications turned on as well. And then we can even set a schedule. So let's say I go to school certain days of the week. Let's say I go to school on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then I go to school 1 p.m. 6 p.m. So I go to school from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays and this is actually going to automatically turn on my school focus mode on 1 to 6 p.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This is very important because sometimes you get into school, you're about to go into a class and you didn't sense your MacBook and you get a bunch of phone call notifications popping up. And then of course we also have focus filters which allow you to customize how apps and devices behave when the focus filter is on. So if we want to go into calendar, we can choose that you want to only show maybe the work one. School focus, I want to show my work calendar. So that's all I want to do. For messages, it's going to filter conversation and we're going to only add notifications from filter conversations. I can also do Safari so I can only do a certain tab group. I can add that as well. So these are really cool. This is a very good way to customize your computer as well as just to have a better focus when you're in school. The next thing we're going to talk about is split screen and multitasking. This is a very, very important thing you need to learn how to do on a Mac because it is going to save your life so freaking much. If you didn't know how to use a split screen, so I have my Chrome browser right here. And let's say I want to launch my PowerPoints. I have my PowerPoint right there. I have my PowerPoint opened up and I have Chrome browser opened up. This green bubble right here. And you're going to go down into tile window to the left of screen. And then you're going to tile the other window right here. And now you are multitasking tasking on a Mac. It's very easy. It's very straightforward. Say you don't want this to be as big as the other one. I can adjust this to like around like this or I can adjust it the other way. What else is really cool now is that new Macs have stage manager. We could even activate it while we are in here. So if we go right up into here and we go right into stage manager, I can then I can quickly switch between different applications on the Mac very smoothly. It's very cool. I find it very efficient. I definitely would recommend you guys playing around with it because it could be quite helpful to your setup in college, but it's actually more helpful on the iPad. And that of course is Stage Manager on the Mac. So now it's time to get into the apps I recommend for college. These are going to be a short fire list of apps and show you guys some cool features that I like within these applications I think are definitely must have. So first thing we're gonna talk about is one we actually literally just talked about already and it's Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft Word. These three are the three horsemen for college, like I said. These are very important and I think everyone should use them. I know a lot of schools actually give you a free Microsoft 365 subscription if you are a student. Definitely look into that. Definitely don't pay for these because I don't pay for these, honestly. But here we have Microsoft Word. I have a billion documents on here. I like to switch between Google Docs and Microsoft Word because they have two different spell checks. I like to run it through both of them just to have more of an efficient uh, process for it. I think Microsoft Word is great. There's billions of things you can do with it. I mean, layouts and stuff like that. It's, it's still a very good application, even though Google Docs does exist. It's definitely something I recommend. Excel, Excel, Excel. Oh my goodness. Everyone needs Excel in their life. Everyone needs to do it in Excel sheet. As you can see in college, College, you do a lot of Excel sheets and there's more workbooks as you can see I do lots of Excel sheets in college that's the same thing with uh, PowerPoint you know you're gonna use PowerPoint a lot as you can see I've been using it a lot since September of 2020 also in my opinion have a lot better slide templates on PowerPoint versus Google Docs and they also look a lot more crystal so those are Microsoft applications that I recommend using the next application I recommend for college is Adobe Acrobat it's actually called Adobe Acrobat reader and you're gonna be opening up a bajillion PDFs in college as you can see I open up a bajillion PDFs 
PDF and I use this because it's just the best. But what's also cool is it syncs up with Adobe Cloud Storage. So if you have your scans in here as well, you have it with the Adobe Scan app and you have your other stuff in here as well and your shared stuff and whatever. For Mac, I personally find that this is just a more efficient PDF viewer instead of just Finder on that. Let's talk about the one and the only Grammarly. Grammarly is going to be your literal best friend in college, okay? I don't know how I would live without Grammarly. It helps you edit your papers. It helps you sound sane. It helps you sound professional. It's just amazing and it's fantastic. And the best thing about Grammarly is that it's so compatible with different applications. It's absolutely insane. You have the Grammarly editor directly on the Mac, but you also have it on Google Chrome. I believe you also have it on Safari. You have it in Microsoft Word. You have it in Google Docs. It's pretty much everywhere and I just love it so much. I can show you guys kind of how it looks, especially on Chrome. So as you can see right here in Chrome, I have Grammarly set up, but say if I were to go up and up, and let's just open up a Google Doc right now. Let's just see. As you can see here, here's just a basic demo of how Grammarly works. It detects words that are misspelled or how you can change up your writing style to make it more professional or whatever. I use it all the time. It's very, very important to have and it just works amazing and fantastically. Definitely recommend Grammarly. I think every college student needs it. I definitely love Grammarly. It's definitely a very important software for everyone to use in college. A thousand percent. So we're going to loop these next three things all together because they all involve Chrome. So we're going to be talking about Chrome, Google Drive, and Chrome extensions. These three things are very helpful for anyone, not even people interested in college, but they're just very helpful. So let's talk about it. Chrome is the browser of choice that I think a lot of students use. I think it's just better. It works pretty well with pretty much any school software you're using, whether it be Blackboard or Canvas. This is kind of how I set up my Chrome to be successful in college. The main thing you want to really do is you want to have for one, a really cool theme for your computer. Uh, if you want to edit this theme, you can literally just go right down into here to go into your theme editor and you can do different appearances, different themes or whatever. You want something that looks pretty aesthetically pleasing that's going to fit your setting. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just freaking utilize these shortcuts and utilize these bookmarks. These are very important bookmarks for me. These are things that I look for whenever I need to get something quickly. So for school, I usually have my school's homepage uh, locked in. I have Google Drive locked in. You're going to want to just have a huge tab of bookmarks right at the top of your page. And even shortcuts like right here, you're going to want to put a website name in here. These are very important things you're going to want on Chrome. We also need to talk about Chrome extensions, which are very important. So right up here, we have my extensions. I have Google Docs offline. I can add that right there. And also I have a PayPal Honey. So Google Docs Offline is another really important Chrome extension I want to talk about. So obviously all your extensions are stored up right here. What's really cool about this one is, is that I can open up a Google Doc right here. So I have this on here because it's just easy. So if I'm going to a place that doesn't have Wi-Fi, I don't want to use it. I want to make sure this is available offline. I can make sure it is saved for there and I can turn on if the document for offline use and we're going to turn this on for all files so i also want to mention that there's a whole google chrome web store that has a bunch of different extensions so you can go and find different extensions they're going to help you out a lot in school google drive is definitely going to be your lifesaver in college it gives you 15 gigabytes free of storage space you're going to put all your documents on here. you're going to put all of your syllabuses on here and the best thing about it too is that this also works with the ipad as well as the iphone so you can have everything synced up in your ecosystem it's definitely a recommendation for college for me it helped me get through college in fact your college may even let you have a free account as well and may even give you more storage so definitely look into it it's definitely a recommendation for me so the last two applications are literally going to be discussed more in depth with the ipad section of this video which is going to be next but we're going to talk about good notes and we're going to talk about notes these are two amazing applications that I would recommend to any college student, especially students who want to stay organized. I think it's just really important to have these two applications. I would say that GoodNotes really helps me memorize anything I need to memorize when it comes to college. It helps me take really great notes. It helps me stay organized. It's very, very important. I actually kind of structure my good notes to kind of similarly to how I structure my desktop. And I have my different semester folders. Obviously, make a fall semester folder, make a spring semester folder for each and every school year. It's going to help you stay organized a lot. And I've literally been using this for many, many years now. I literally have it for my SAG ones when I went there. I have it for... My spring 2023 ones, I have all my notebooks right there. I think GoodNotes is just a great application. What's also really cool is you can even import PDFs right into GoodNotes and you can mark them up with your Apple Pencil on your iPad. It makes it very, very user-friendly user and stuff like that. Here's my February view of GoodNotes. As you can see right here, 
I literally planned out the whole entire month of February, color-coded my classes, marked off things that weren't there. I find this application very, very, very helpful. Even if you just have a Mac, I would definitely even consider using GoodNotes as well. You can type a document right into GoodNotes and you can still use it. I remember I used it a lot in classes whenever I did for my iPad with. We're gonna talk more about it in depth in the iPad section of this video, but I just love GoodNotes a lot. So this is how I have my Notion set up here. I actually have it set up for my TikTok and my YouTube and my um, album ideas right here, but you can very easily set this up simply just for school. We can do kind of like a mock setup for school. So let's go right into here and create a new page. Let's just say this is gonna be for Com 109 social media and you can add a weekly plan. So let's just say we wanna make a weekly plan for our class. I can go right into here and I can set things up. But it's very cool and very good way to stay organized if you don't wanna use GoodNotes. Maybe you don't wanna pay for the GoodNotes subscription or you don't wanna pay for that. This is all free just on Notion, which is very cool and very, very helpful. And it's even cool that you can even just customize stuff like you can add a certain icon, I can have a certain cover photo. It's just very cool, very well organized. And the cool thing about it is it's the same on your Mac, it's the same on your phone, and it's the same on your iPad. That is Notion. All right guys, that is how I set up my MacBook for college and how I set this up to be successful when I was in college. Uh, if you have any questions on how to use any of these applications or if you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them down in the description down below. I will definitely be sure to look at them, answer any of you guys' questions, and now let's move on to the iPad section of the video. And that is a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and also be sure to hit that button down below and subscribe and click the notification button to get notifications on whenever I upload the next video. And also be sure to follow me on all the social medias. Links are gonna be down in the description down below and also right here. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye.